beautiful ones. This is Miss Arkitha, Soul to Soul Connection, coming to you with Virgo. Hello, Virgo. This is your December 2019 reading. Hello, beautiful ones. Oh, it's been a year, right? But we're rounding this out. We're rounding it out. I've already shuffled the cards, laid them out. Let's just get to it, okay? We've had enough going on this year, all right? <laughs> Virgo, so... Um, before we get started, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and share all of this. Miss Arthur, keep the love. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We need to go live on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So let's get started. I mean, before I even got started with Virgo, um, the, the what came into my head was like, what am I here to really do? Like, what is what 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 have I really come here to do in this lifetime? So, we're going to see what it turns out to be, but let me turn over the cards, and I'm telling you, the cards are just flipping out, so um, it's a little bit of more cards in general, um, because I, you know, I just take them as they give, give it to me, you know, um, I only ask for a certain amount of cards, but if they just start coming out, I'm going to take them, I'm going to take them, okay, alright, yeah, right, okay, so, I think for Virgo, so much this year, it's just been about spiritual growth, um, figuring out who they are, um, where they fit in the scheme of everything, you know, and again, like with all of us, it was a lot of shedding, healing, um, getting rid of things that don't serve us or um, getting, trying to get, you know, more of a sense of, you know, fulfillment um, in our lives, Virgo. So, first cards out, I'm going to go with, here is Gaia. you got the Gaia card. Wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. And I think a lot of you Virgos have been working on that, have gotten that. I think if you look back to January, how your awareness was far as, especially if you've been working with me, mm, just, you know, um, watching my videos and stuff because this year was big about that. This year was big about us getting back to who we, who our true, authentic self, right? Um, a lot of times we feel like we have to be a certain way for certain people and just that uh, really throws us off of the path of who we were truly meant to be. And so now we're making other people happy, Virgo, versus making ourselves happy. And I think that that has been like a theme this year uh, for a lot of us. And I think, Virgo, you have been feeling it, right? But for a lot of Virgos, you know, it's all about really um, career and getting back to the career path and um, getting back to um, the dreams that we've had. And I think December, you're going to really be thinking about that a lot purpose and what we were put here to do because the purpose card has come out it was on the bottom of um, my soul, um, um, soul journey card so it was on the bottom of the deck but you know I am going to need for you to be around friends I think right now um, Virgo you being by yourself a lot is not going to benefit you I think if you have friends to be around um, family you know, your cousins, cousins, sister cousins, brother cousins, you know, whatever it takes. Because I think that you don't need to because when you're by yourself, you're thinking back and thinking on, you know, regrets. Because a regret card did come out. And that's why I'm saying this. That's why our source is wanting you to, you know, be more social, be around friends because they're going to lift you up. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Because I think that really, Virgo, your emotions have been kind of like all over the board, really, um, lately. So, um, what Source is asking for me to tell you really is to really get out of that place of um, feeling like you're by yourself in this. Because you're not. And we have angels around us that's really trying to, and ancestors, loved ones has passed on, that's trying to get messages to you, trying to lift you up, trying to um, let you know that you're not in this by yourself. So, the indecision has a lot to do with it back and forth about, you know, your growth, you know, um, but you have grown and that's what they want you to know, Virgo. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, which again goes back to the wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding that you have gained this year. And you have. 
but again you've had some indecisions about your life paths you know who you want like your um significant other to be um who you want to you know spend your time with be around um things like that so the tree of life came out that's the number one card tree of life fertility creativity destiny destiny and magical blessings so you got to know that it's magical blessings within that because you know um and again I feel like Virgo is trying to get back to that fer fertile spot um, where, you know, they're they're trying to um, uh, relive their dreams, trying to do things that they have once put on the back burner, but trying to bring out again. And I think that has a lot to do with, the, you know, the purpose, like knowing your purpose. Again, the purpose card was in underneath was loneliness. I knew it. Like, I didn't even know that card was the, the, the card below that was a loneliness, feeling lonely. But no, I know that I'm never alone. And that's what spirit is trying to tell you. And, and, I, and for some, and for a lot of you it may not be uh, you know this it, like it, it may not resonate with you but I really feel like some of your your ancestors meaning you know people have that has passed on are really trying to hug you in this moment hug you and let you know that everything is going to be okay and that we're here and that we're supporting you and good because you you know what your purpose is you know what you were put here to do but when things start coming at you you don't feel as fertile you don't feel as creative uh, creative and you feel like you know you are are knocked off of your destined track but they're trying to they're trying to uh, uh help you to let go of the regrets of the past because you cannot change the past the past is it the past is one minute ago one second ago was the past so that's done. It's what what is and whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know that I cannot change the past. So we have to let go of those uh, regrets. Start delegating. Ask others for help, which is I know that's hard for you. I know. I know, Virgo. I know. I get it. And it's hard for a lot of people. But ask others to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself, including me. Spirit is saying, including me. I, we're here. We love you. You know, the angels fight a lot of our battles that we don't even know about. Um, and there are battles to be fought because in a lot of it is our mental battles. Like they're not out here physically fighting people. And sometimes they do block people that don't need to be on this path with us in this season. And it hurts. But a lot of those people that's really battling against us, spirit is on the other side trying to help us. Spirit is on the other side trying to guard us and give us messages like, uh-uh, no, 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 watch out for this one. Angel numbers is a big one. Like if you're going, having really serious thoughts and you look at the time or you look at a clock, the time, the clock, that's, a, that's my big one. Look at the clock and look at the time as you are thinking some things because you'll have reoccurring numbers. It'll be the birth date of the pa the loved one that passed on trying to let you know, look, stop this, stop that, stop going over and over your head because you have the amethyst card. You are transforming. This is part of your transformation of getting back to who you are, right? Transformation, certainty, confidence about your path. That's what they're trying to get you back to. And Virgo, they want you to do it boldly right boldly they want you to unleash your adventurous side take risk and be daring because you that's who you are anyway especially in business especially when you're thinking of new uh, business ideas and options and roads to this way and you know and and big on helping others big on nonprofits and all these other things that i i know that i spoke of in the beginning of the year um in the uh, previous readings i know i did i remember speaking to you virgos about this and some of you have put some of that on hold because you have so much going on in your internal self and in, in, in your personal space that it's like kind of pushing you away from that, you know, those things that bring you fulfillment, bring you happiness. And so they're trying to get you back to that. So trust your inner vo voice. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You just have to trust that the things that's transp uh, transpiring in your life right now, the things that's going on is for your betterment. I know that it hurts and I know that it stings and it seems like things are taking so long and it seems like things are happening that should not be happening, but surrender to it. Surrender control to it. Release it so you can receive the abundance, which you have a 
prosperity was the bottom card of your guidance cards prosperity the universe is pouring its abundance out to you now you just have to be open to receiving it and see a lot of times that we are in this place of remembrance which was the the, uh, the last card out here oh no, 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 but i want to give you the bottom card too because all of these cards is so much telling me what Virgo is really like, the place that Virgo is in right now. Um, remembering, it's like a resurfacing of past feelings and emotions or remembrance that is bringing out all this other stuff that's making us feel like we haven't made the strides that we've made this year. But I promise you, if you look back, you are going to see, you have to, you, you have to know that you're strong. And the, the card under that is fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. And I know that it seems like it's taken forever for this. For a lot of you, you've been working, you've been waiting for this fairness. You've been waiting for this justice to come out. And it's been like one thing after another. And it's like, and you feel so alone in the process. But that's why spirit is around you. That's why spirit is trying to surround you and let you know. So oh gosh yes yes <laughs> yes yes the dream card something is revealed insight breakthrough something is and and this is a dream card this means that at night after you say your prayers when you're in that realm like getting into realm sleep um when you're at your peaceful um, spot when you really about to go that's when the uh, source of um, the angels and your ancestors are going to be giving you those messages that you need um, guiding you and letting you know everything is going to come out because you have the achievement card and you have the message card yes positive news positive outcome like I said everything is going to be handled in a fair and just manner it's just that things take time to set in place Virgo but yes um, you're going to achieve. Achievement is key. Is is just what it is. Uh, uh, keep focused on your dream, which is what I was telling you about in the beginning. Um, keep focused on the dreams that you had, um, dreams that you worked on in the past and thought, oh, this is never going to work, but it's still in your heart. God would not put it in your heart if it wasn't meant to be there. Okay. It would not have been something that burns so deeply inside of you if it wasn't meant for you to do. You just have to open your mind, look at different aspects, open your imaginations to different aspects, different ways of thinking. Maybe the way that you went about it last time didn't work, but maybe this time, if you try this time, it'll work this time. But because this time you know different people, this time you have built experience. This time you have um, been through things in your life that you hadn't been through before because it's success. Success is coming. You have the pro You have the, look, good gracious and alive, man. Look, you have the success card. I know there's no greater goal than love to love. When you have love in your life, you're successful anyway. And that's from everywhere. And you don't have to be in a relationship to know that you have love in your life, feel love in your life. That propels you forward. And you got the, you got the achievement card, the prosperity card, and the success card. Because I think some of you really have been feeling uh, in a place of lack lately. Virgo, I think that you have been feeling like, you know, things are going so slow. Um, things are holding you back, pulling you backwards. Like you're feeling like you're being dragged backwards in, instead of forwards. Source is telling you that is not true. You have to see beyond the veil of illusion. That was the next card. You have to see beyond the veil of illusion because your perception is going to be everything. The way you look at everything with the, the type of attitude that you have, that's going to be everything for you, Virgo. Okay? All right. You just have to be honest with yourself and stop doubting yourself. That was the next card. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself and know that you have really come a long way and even if it does not seem like material at this point at this point in juncture but in order to get that material abundance you have to knock away and carve away and 
and and and just and just um, uh, surround yourself with white light to block out all of these negative things that will bring in regret, will make you start thinking about the past and regretting decisions that you made in the past. Those decisions that you made in the past were to grow you, to make you stronger, to make you look at life in a bold way, to bring out parts of you that you had not thought about before. So it's all for you and not, it's not, they're not, it's not being done to you, it's being done for you to show you how strong you really are and how far you've really come and how far you are going to go yet. Okay, Virgo? All right, I'm gonna just leave it at that, Virgo. It's just, you are achieving, you have to just know that you're achieving, okay? All right, I love you, Virgo. And until 2020, kisses and kisses and more kisses, I'm sending you love and light to guide you on this path. Everything is going to unfold the way it should. Just let the universe do, do its job. And I'm leaving you with peace, love, and tranquility, my beautiful ones. Until 2020, namaste. Namaste. Love you.